the Joe Rogan experience. He's doing all that anti-aging shit. Yeah, you know he's that, doing you know, ham. Who's that one billionaire that I was telling you about? He like he oh, takes yeah. blood transfusions from yes. his son. That guy's weird, man. But he does look younger. He looks great. But I mean, um, you probably could look that. There's guys that look that good that are his age that just work out all the time. What? Right, well, that's what I don't know because he's doing so many things that yeah. I don't. I, I don't know what thing. What is he going overboard with? Like he takes like forty vitamins in the yeah. morning and forty more in the afternoon. Mm. He always. He always sleeps at the same exact time, no matter what. <sighs> that seems tedious. I know. It's like, I'd rather just die sooner. You know, like I was telling you, I had a headache last night because, you know, all the shit that's going on at the club. Nonsense. There's nothing bad. But So uh, then I had a hard time going to sleep. And then I got up in the morning and I was foggy as shit. Got in the cold plunge. Like, I know I'm not at optimum today. Yeah. I know it. But, you know, that's life. That's yeah. life. That is life. Suck it up, bitch. <laughs> Like, is that him and his son? So he looks to me like a normal, fit 40-year-old guy. Nah, show, but show a picture of him from, like, five years ago. What, did he look bad? It, he just he looks didn't, better? He, he looks worse, yeah. Uh, he looks better now. Well, maybe back then he was working, too. Oh, see, that's him right there. See what the... Uh, is he working still? Yeah, go, go back. Is that not him? Oh, that's him? Right, that's him right there. Oh. Well, also, it looks like he lost weight. He got fitter. Yeah, he went goth. Which makes you healthier. He looks like more like a superhero than goth. Like, what is that strap on his shoulder? What is he doing? Is that a bulletproof vest? Is that guy a superhero? Man, what is that? What is that outfit? Imagine wearing that outfit. If you showed up at the the mothership with that outfit, <laughs> everybody be like Brian Simpson. What the fuck are you smoking? Yeah, Tony, the, Tony might rock that. Tony anyway. would rock like that cowboy with a cowboy big hat. belt buckle. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, but I bet you, I bet you, it's probably something that like lets a certain frequency of light to his nipples that keep helps him retain vitamin D or something. Right, shit. right. What is yeah. that stupid shirt, man? That shirt's ridiculous. Yeah, he's got them zero shoes on. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, he's doing all the face stuff too. See, that's another thing that they can do. They do this face thing. Oh Jesus, what happened to his face? I think he's just got cold. Oh, that's a different guy. Uh, no, he said I tried. Tried it. Okay. Yeah, but what is he doing right there? It says forty-five year old CEO to the right of that. Yeah. So, what's he doing? Okay, so the way there's. Coming. Yeah, there's a thing that they do where they like put these like micro needles all over your face and then they rub stem cells in your face. I know a few people that have had that but, done. But now imagine the son doing this from 18. You know? <sighs> yeah. That, that now that might be a whole different thing. Yeah, so he eats 2000 calories a day, but he's vegan. Yeah, that's not good. That's a that's lot of vegetables. But that's interesting that he would choose that route, the the vegan route vegan? for longevity. Cuz there's yeah. a, a lot of you know, nutritional pitfalls in that. Can you not make up for those? You can. Because like you said, he takes like 50, Yeah, it's possible. Vitamins. It's possible to do. But the most nutrient-dense foods are red meat. That's the most nutrient-dense foods. There's just a lot of weird propaganda. He that, might switch it up. Well, who knows? I mean, he doesn't look that good there, though. So that, that thing again? But it's like for a lot of people on vegan diets, it's hard to put mass on. I mean, he looks okay. But he looks like a normal 45-year-old guy that's fit. And I think that's his dad, too. See, see that picture right there in the middle? Oh. Him, his, him, his son, and his dad all did the transfusion thing. I'm not sure I like that picture. <laughs> him in the middle. Looking, look like, why were you looking at me like that? Imagine if you go over to someone's house, and the son <laughs> and the dad and the, the little kid, they're all posed like this. Like, come on. What? What are you doing? It's if like I a, went over your house it's like a Calvin and Klein you were there ad. with uh, you know, two other dudes, <laughs> like that, I'd be like, hey, man, I'm going to leave. We were embracing? Yeah, I mean, I want you guys to be happy. The one on the but... right's not as bad as the one on the No, right. the one on the right is normal. Like, Joe, this is how, we, like, hey, this is how we stay doing? younger, Joe. We, it's cuddle, cuddle puddles. It looks like his dad's not listening. Intergenerational cuddle puddles. <laughs> that, 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 that bell buckle is fucking straining. <laughs> yeah, well, he's definitely, hold, he's definitely holding in his stomach. Yeah, mean, yeah, on top of that, like, that guy's not listening. Isn't it funny? Like, the son is on this crazy health kick. The dad looks like he's eating meatball subs. And oh, yeah. Well, I think he, I think he was night. estranged from the dad and the son until, like, recently. Oh. And they got back together for the transfusion. 